One of the most sophisticated is the USS Sea Wolf, SSN-21, belonging to the United States Navy. The submarine was first launched in July 1997. This submarine was first built by the Electric Boat Division of General Dynamics Connecticut, USA, in January 1989. The construction of the submarine cost 3 billion US dollars, around RP.42 trillion. Sea Wolf was intended to demonstrate the US Navy's technological superiority over the Soviet Union, now Russia, from 1945 to the mid-1980s. The Sea Wolf class is a class of nuclear-powered, fast attack submarines, SSN, in service with the United States Navy. The class was the intended successor to the Los Angeles class, and design work began in 1983. A fleet of 29 submarines was to be built over a 10-year period, but that was reduced to 12 submarines. The end of the Cold War and budget constraints led to the cancellation of any further additions to the fleet in 1995, leaving the Sea Wolf class limited to just three boats. This, in turn, led to the design of the smaller Virginia class. The Sea Wolf class costs about $3 billion per unit, $3.5 billion for USS Jimmy Carter, making it the most expensive United States Navy fast attack submarine and second most expensive submarine ever, after the French Triumphant class nuclear-powered ballistic missile submarines. The Sea Wolf design is intended to combat threats from advanced Soviet ballistic missile submarines such as the Typhoon class, and attack submarines such as the Akula class in deep sea environments. The Sea Wolf class hull is constructed from HY-100 steel, which is stronger than the HY-80 steel used in the previous class, to withstand water pressure at greater depths. Sea Wolf class submarines are larger, faster, and significantly quieter than previous Los Angeles class submarines. They also carried more guns and had twice as many torpedo tubes. The ship is capable of carrying up to 50 Tomahawk UGM-109 cruise missiles to attack land and sea surface targets. The boat also has extensive equipment to enable shallow water operations. This class uses the more advanced RC modified and slash BSY2 combat system, which includes a larger spherical sonar array, wide aperture array, WAA, and a new tote array sonar. Each ship is powered by one S6W nuclear reactor, generating 45,000 horsepower, 34 megawatts, to low noise pump jets. However, due to their advanced design, Sea Wolf class submarines are much more expensive. The projected cost for 12 submarines of this class was $33.6 billion, but construction on three of the ships was halted when the Cold War ended. The Sea Wolf ship has adequate weaponry and is equipped with sophisticated sensors. Despite not having a vertical launch system, the submarine has eight torpedo tubes and can accommodate up to 50 guns in its torpedo base. This submarine is designed to be able to dive to a depth of 487 meters and can operate under the polar ice cap. Sea Wolf was also created with the aim of finding and destroying Russian ballistic missile submarines, namely the Typhoon class, and attack submarines such as the Akula class. Additionally, Sea Wolf was designed as a replacement for the older Los Angeles-class nuclear-powered attack submarines. As reported by Military Today, the most important advantage of the Sea Wolf design is that it can move very quietly, even at high tactical speeds. While most submarines need to keep their speed to 5 knots to avoid detection by passive sonar arrays. Meanwhile, the Sea Wolf submarine capable of sailing at a speed of 20 knots has yet to be found. The submarine has a power source from the S6W nuclear reactor. Its body is 107 meters long and 12 meters wide and weighs 9,138 tons. The ship also has a speed of more than 25 knots or more than 45 kilometers per hour. Typhoon Class, Russia The second strongest submarine is a Russian-made submarine called the Typhoon Class. Quoted from Marineinsight.com, this United States rival submarine was formed by Russia in the 1960s. The size of this submarine is almost the size of three football fields combined. More specifically, the Typhoon class submarine is 566 feet long or the equivalent of more than 170 meters, 76 meters wide and reaches a height of 38 meters. These submarines can load a displacement of over 48,000 tons. The Typhoon class, is a class of nuclear-powered ballistic missile submarines designed and built by the Soviet Union for the Soviet Navy. With a submerged displacement of 48,000 tons, the Typhoons are the largest submarines ever built, able to accommodate comfortable living facilities for the crew of 160 when submerged for months on end. The source of the NATO reporting name remains unclear, 
although it is often claimed to be related to the use of the word typhoon by General Secretary Leonid Brezhnev of the Communist Party in a 1974 speech while describing a new type of nuclear ballistic missile submarine, as a reaction to the United States Navy's new Ohio-class submarine. The Russian Navy cancelled its typhoon modernization program in March 2012, stating that modernizing one typhoon would be as expensive as building two new Bory-class submarines. With the announcement that Russia has eliminated the last R-39 Reef, SSN-20 Sturgeon, SLBMs in September 2012, only one typhoon remained in service, Dmitry Donskoy, which refitted with the more modern RSM-56 Bulava SLBM for testing. She continued to serve until February 2023. Nuclear submarines are identified by the letter K followed by a number, for example, the lead boat of the Yasin class, the Suvir Advinsk, is K-560. K stands for cruiser. The sheer displacement of the Typhoon class boats, comparable to several aircraft carrier classes, led to their classification as heavy cruisers. Besides their missile armament, the Typhoon class featured six torpedo tubes designed to handle RPK-2, SSN-15, missiles or Type 53 torpedoes. A Typhoon class submarine could stay submerged for 120 days in normal conditions, and potentially more if deemed necessary, for example, in the case of a nuclear war, their primary weapon system was composed of 20 R-39, NATO, SSN-20, ballistic missiles, SLBM, with a maximum of 10 MIRV nuclear warheads each. Technically, Typhoons were able to deploy their long-range nuclear missiles while moored at their docks. Typhoon-class submarines featured multiple pressure hulls which simplifies internal design while making the vessel much wider than a normal submarine. In the main body of the sub, Two long pressure hulls lie parallel with a third, smaller pressure hull above them, which protrudes just below the sail, and two other pressure hulls for torpedoes and steering gear. This also greatly increases their survivability, even if one pressure hull is breached, the crew members and the other are safe and there is less potential for flooding. Its ballistic missiles were placed between the two main pressure hulls, their launch tubes enclosed only by the outer, light hull. Six Typhoon-class submarines were built between 1976 and 1985. Originally, the submarines were designated by hull numbers only. Names were later assigned to the four vessels retained by the Russian Navy after the dissolution of the Soviet Union. During the time of the Russian Federation, these boats were to be sponsored by either a city or company. The construction order for an additional vessel, hull number TK-210, was cancelled and never completed. In late December 2008, a senior Navy official announced that the two Typhoon-class submarines, TK-17 Arkhangelsk and TK-20 Severstal, that were in reserve would not be rearmed with the new Bulava SLBM missile system. They could potentially yet be modified to carry cruise missiles or to lay mines, or could be used in special operations. Citation needed, in late June 2009, the Navy Commander-in-Chief, Admiral Vladimir Vysotsky, told reporters that the two submarines would be reserved for possible future repairs and modernization. In September 2011, the Russian Defense Ministry decided to write off all Project 941 Akula nuclear-powered ballistic missile submarines until 2014. The reasons for decommissioning the Typhoon-class vessels are the restrictions imposed on Russia by the Strategic Arms Reduction Treaty and successful trials of new Bore class submarine. Despite being a replacement for many types of submarines, the Bore class submarines are slightly shorter than the Typhoon class, 170 meters, 560 feet, as opposed to 175 meters, 574 feet, and have a smaller crew, 107 people as opposed to 160. These changes were in part designed to reduce the cost to build and maintain the submarines. In addition, the United States and Canada provided 80% of funds for scrapping the older Typhoon class submarines making it much more economical to build a new submarine. Astute class, English a further sub is coming from the UK, replacing the older Swift Sewer class attack submarine model. The first nuclear-powered submarine was commissioned with the Royal Navy in 2010. It should be noted that the advantage of this attack submarine is equipped with six 533mm torpedo tubes. As such, it can be used to launch torpedoes such as the Spearfish, sub-harpoon anti-ship missiles and Tomahawk cruise missiles. The Block 4 Tomahawk land attack cruise missile has a range of 1,700 km and can target enemy ships as well as ground targets. Astute is the second submarine of the Royal Navy to be named after the characteristic of shrewdness and discernment, the first was the World War II-era Amphion-class Astute. 
She was the largest attack submarine in Royal Navy history when commissioned in 2010. Built as a successor to the Trafalgar class, Astute is 50% larger than the T-boats but has a smaller crew. The 7,400-ton Astute's nuclear reactor will not need to be refueled during the vessel's 25-year service. Since the submarine can purify water and air, she is able to circumnavigate the planet without resurfacing. The main limit is that the submarine can only carry three months' supply of food for 98 crew. Astute has stowage for 38 weapons and was expected to typically carry both Spearfish heavy torpedoes and Tomahawk Block 4 cruise missiles, the latter costing £870,000 each. Astute was ordered from Jex Marconi Marine, now BAE Systems Submarines, on March 17, 1997. She was laid down at BAE Submarine Facility in Barrow and Furnace on January 31, 2001, 100 years to the day after the keel was laid down for the Royal Navy's first submarine Holland 1. She was the first submarine built in the UK since HMS Vengeance, launched in 1998. Astute was launched on June 8, 2007 by the then Duchess of Cornwall, 43 months behind schedule. 13. The launch attracted more than 10,000 spectators. 14. Her builders BAE Systems described her as the largest and most able attack submarine that the Royal Navy has operated, with a performance to rival any in the world. On February 16, 2010 Astute left Fastland for sea trials and dived for the first time on February 18, 2010. HMS Astute was commissioned on August 27, 2010, when she was given her HMS prefix, in a ceremony watched over by her patron the Duchess of Cornwall. She was delivered to the Royal Navy on July 18, 2013 and at that time was reported to be, nearing the end of her sea trials. In reality, the Royal Navy declared Astute to be fully operational in May 2014, some 13 years after being laid down.